got my choke cables in so I can keep progressing on uh, the air and gas control systems. So here I've got the dashboard out of that truck. Uh, the bracket that somebody else has done a lot of chopping to. I don't know why. I, I, there was nothing mounted in the truck when I got it, but these holes have been opened up. But that guy goes right there. Here's the ashtray that for also some reason is super chopped up. Slides in place. Same setup as my Toyota but a little bit bigger. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is replicate what I did in my Toyota. And since this is already cut, I'll build a panel that goes right here and all of my cables will be sitting right there just like I set them up in the Toyota, all four in a row. Probably even orientate them the same way. Uh, air on the outside, wood gas on the inside. Just cause I can hop from truck to truck and controls are all gonna be the same. And I think that's gonna be the easiest way to do this. <clears throat> um, probably have to hack this up a little bit more but uh i don't need an ashtray I don't, I don't ever use it i mean i got rid of it in toyota and i have no regrets about it it works great having the controls right there i think it'll be plenty enough out of the way of the shifter I and mean, the shifter is going to be right over here can't be in the way for anything else so uh i'm going to use what's already been chopped up and chop it up some more piece of eighth inch flat stock not perfectly ideal width but I think it'll do fine just give myself some reference marks on the inside that'll tell me where all of my holes need to be within go cut that out yeah that'll look pretty good obviously you know cleaned up and painted so I want these cables to end up, you know, centered in this opening here that somebody else has already cut. So, and yes, I know the caliper is broken. It works. So that's a 15 millimeter opening. We need half of that, or excuse me, that was a 30. So we'll go to 15. I know that all four cables are gonna fit because these are the nuts off of the cable. So they're all going to fit within that opening. I just want to make sure they're going to be in a nice line. So I got my caliper <clears throat> set to 15. I'm just going to go off of my straight edge here. A little piece of slag right there. So now I've got a center mark. You can see there. Line up one nut on the very outside edge of that. Transfer punch that's the right size. Try not to disturb the nut, putting it in place. You can kind of slide the center punch back and forth. If you've got a, a decent groove from your caliper, it'll sit in there. Yep, right on the mark. There it is. Okay. Now I know that those two, where they're gonna end up. Now I can split the difference for these two. Huh, that one is right on the little piece of weld spatter. And I'm probably being way more precise about this than you need to. So, there we go, there's your center punch marks, and we'll go get those drilled out. Looks good. 
Now we're going to need some way to mount this plate in place where it goes. And I'm going to think I'm going to have room to throw some little bolts on either side where my thumbs are there. I'm just going to confirm that. Putting this thing back in its holder. Oh, come on. So we got plenty of space in between where these mounting screws are going to go. So I can get it back there. And when I put it in the dashboard, let's see if I can show you. Plenty of room right there. Because it doesn't actually come up against anything on the dash. It just barely fits into this trimmed out opening. So there's plenty of room to get a screw in there. For the sake of being symmetrical, because sometimes unsymmetrical things make my head hurt. See our opening is about hmm, 30 millimeter again. So we'll cut that in half down to 15. Grab our line on both sides. Now you can see about where the screw is going to go. And let's go ahead and center the screws up same distance as the holes for our control cables. Now we've got our point, both sides. Quick and easy. Okay, we just got her, you know, finger tight on there. Let's see how it's gonna look. Obviously, it'll get it painted. I did pull off the uh, fake wood finish. Just no reason to bolt over the top of it. So, check our fit. Oh yeah, tons of room for those bolts in there. Easy to get to the cables. Now also because this was cut, I'll have a lip that I can actually grab a hold of and I need to pull it out. If I need to do any cable adjustments, lots of room to get the wrench in there, top and bottom. I should never need to do that, but yeah, that'll work. So there we go. That's exactly how I have my Toyota set up. Everything's mounted inside of the glove box, or uh, excuse me, the ashtray. And this one was actually a little bit narrower than the Toyota. So I had to make these two valves basically touch each other in the middle and they slightly overlap these two, which is fine because normal running position, I'm gonna have the wood gas valves wide open and my fine air adjustment will be, you know, down in here. At least on my Toyota, my measuring device is always my finger, about that much distance. But that's probably going to change because on the Toyota, I used uh, throttle bodies which actually seal up when they're fully closed. This build, I'm probably gonna go with Wayne's design. Basically, it's more or less of a, a damper that controls it. So these may have a lot more travel. I've noticed on Wayne's trucks, they're, you know, way out here, wide open. So, fine tuning when it gets in the truck. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could put spacers back here and move these two outboard. But if I ever need to do any maintenance on it, it's encased in the uh, ashtray holder. I can just slide it out. I can get right to my cables, top and bottom. And there was, it's a little bit stiff. There was already conveniently a hole right in the back side that all four cables fit through perfectly. So now the only thing left, get it in the truck, figure out where I can poke a hole in the firewall to run the cables out or if there's already an existing hole I can use to run the cables out and get some valves built and this thing's ready to install.